Zika virus is transmitted by the female Aedes mosquito. Within the Aedes family, the primary Zika vector is Aedes aegypti, which is responsible for the Zika outbreak in the Americas. Another Aedes species, Aedes albopictus, is a potential vector for Zika spread. In the European region, during the winter, the risk of local Zika virus transmission is low, as the mosquito is inactive. But in late spring and summer, the risk of spread increases. We are here with Dr. Colleen Acosta, epidemiologist for the WHO Regional Office for Europe, to answer some questions about Zika virus vectors and the risk of spread in Europe. Aedes aegypti is currently present in a limited geographical area of Europe, namely the northeastern Black Sea coast, while Aedes albopictus is currently present in 20 European countries, primarily the Mediterranean basin area. Given this, the risk for an outbreak of Zika virus disease shouldn't be underestimated, particularly given the potential link with microcephaly and neurological disorders. Aedes albopictus is thought to have a lower ability to transmit Zika virus, and we don't know the capability of the transmission in Europe. However, Aedes albopictus has been the vector in previous outbreaks of dengue and chikungunya in the European region. So infected travelers returning to parts of Europe with established populations of Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus could initiate local Zika virus transmission. However, several factors influence whether this turns into an outbreak, and this is namely population densities of the human population and also mosquito population, as well as climactic conditions for mosquito breeding and lack of immunity in the European population for Zika virus. Countries should focus on four main areas. First, it's important for countries to keep track of the mosquito vector population and have plans in place to reduce them. Second, countries need to have a surveillance system in place for early detection of Zika virus transmission. Third, countries also should have laboratory capacity in place to, to confirm cases of Zika virus. And last but not least, it's essential for countries to communicate with vulnerable populations about the potential complications of Zika virus, and this includes pregnant women. Best protection against Zika virus and any diseases transmitted by mosquitoes is to prevent the mosquito bites. From the environmental perspective, this includes reducing the breeding sites for mosquitoes, which is any container with standing water, including flower pots or tires that have been left outside that collect water or drainage areas. From a personal protective standpoint, the best protection is to prevent um, mosquito bites by wearing light clothing that covers the body and also using insect repellents. Stay tuned as WHO shares the latest evidence and information.